Now that you have an account, let's take a look around. In the top left hand corner is the app button. Here you can gain access to apps that you have and also the admin settings. Over here we have the settings. It will show you how much memory you have used and will also allow you to create content packs. Over here we have downloads. Power BI for mobile allows you to view reports and dashboards on a phone or tablet but does not allow for editing. Desktop is very useful and I highly recommend downloading it. It is very similar to Power Query, Power Pivot, and Power View from Excel uh, in that it allows you to easily format your data, create hierarchies, and also create custom columns. Next we have Help and Support, uh, just your basic Help button. Uh, beside it you have the Feedback, you can send a frowny face or a smiley face. And over here you have your User Profile, which you can sign out if you have multiple profiles. Now I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. The first step is to bring data into Power BI. To upload data, click on the Get Data button. Data can be uploaded from many different sources. The uploaded data will show up under Datasets. Once in Datasets, visuals can be created. The Visualizations tab shows all the different visualizations that you can create. The Filters tab shows what filters have been applied. And the Fields tab shows all the tables in the dataset. When the visuals are saved, they show up in Reports. Reports can then be shared with a colleague or edited later. Dashboards are highlights of reports. Any visual can be pinned to a dashboard for easy access. Dashboards can also be shared. When a visual is clicked on a, on a dashboard, it brings up the report that it came from. The Q&A box can be used to create visuals just by asking a question. Under My Workspace, you can create group workspaces allowing multiple people to see and edit reports. Thanks for watching.